Well, I think North Korea has been something on something of a charm offensive recently. It's vowed to stop all slander against the North. It's called for an end to all hostile acts. Um, and certainly this seems to be part of that pattern. But having said that, I think there are many people who are quite sceptical about these talks, at least until they get a bit further along. You'll remember, as you mentioned there, that North Korea cancelled some planned reunions last year because of the South's confrontational attitude, it said. But many people at the time thought it was really more about the question of whether South Korea would restart tourist trips to a, a scenic spot inside the North. And the North wanted mm. that, of course, to boost its own economy. So I think many people are waiting to see whether that issue raises its head again a bit further along the line. So how hopeful are, are South Koreans with relatives in North Korea that these reunions will indeed materialize and will go ahead? I think there's a lot of tiredness amongst the family members, certainly here in the South, uh, we've spoken to a few of them who say, look, they've been w waiting many, many years for these reunions to happen. They did, of course, happen for a while, but only small numbers of, of relatives can actually take part in each one. And there are uh, more than 70,000 of them living here in the South. So I think there is a sense of weariness a a about the process, and that's also coupled with the fact that they, they have failed to happen over the last three years. And don't forget, South Korea and the U.S. have joint military exercises due to start here later this month, and they never fail to irritate Pyongyang. So that there is, there is a, a sense of, of weariness here, at least at the moment, about this process.